Hey guys, it's eMeek77 from Final Cut Studio School. In this color tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make something stay in color and the rest go black and white. So what we want to do is, first place we want to start is in our secondaries tab. I'm going to make this cab stay yellow and everything else is going to go black and white. So the first thing we want, there's a few ways of doing this, I'm just going to show you two. There's ways, two or three ways to do it in the secondaries room, there's ways to do it in the color effects room, but we're going to stick to the simplest. So go up here to your eyedropper, and I'm going to go over here in my canvas after I, in my preview window, after I click the eyedropper and a crosshair comes up. I'm going to click, if I just click once, I'm just going to sample that one pixel underneath the crosshair. So I want to click and drag and make sure I get the whole cab. So when I click and drag, as you notice, watch, the, the cab, the yellow cab, because I'm just clicking on the cab, only the cab will be highlighted. And a few other things in the background that are yellow, also the same color as the cab, because I'm working on hue here, and I'm singling out this hue of yellow. And there's also some other things in the scene that's the same color. So now we have, as you can see, we have our key right here, which tells us everything that's white is going to be what's affected, and everything that's black is not going to be affected. Um, so, well, I got that backwards. Everything that's black is going to be affected, and everything that's white is not going to be affected. Excuse me. So as you can see right here on our preview, the, the cab is white, and there's so are a few of the background elements, they are not going to be affected. When I pull the color out, the color will stay in everything that's white. And the reason for this is, up here under the control pop-down menu, you can select inside or outside. And I have it selected to outside, which means everything that I do will affect the outside of the key that I just made. If I selected inside, then it would affect inside the key and it would change the color of the cab. If I put it on inside and pulled the saturation out, the cabs would be black and white and everything else would be in color. But I'm going to leave it to outside so I can leave the cabs in color and make the background black and white. So now that I've used my eyedropper and selected the color that I want to key, I've looked at my preview here, and as you can see, if you click these little boxes here, if I click this, this will give you my mat over here in the preview too. will let you work with things a little better. And if you want to find adjust, you can go in to your Luma controls and adjust things out a little bit more just to try to get that cab more pure white, as you can see. And as, as I adjust this, the cab becomes a little bit more solid. So you can go up here and fine-tune your controls to get what you're wanting to be a solid yellow. We want that mat, that cab to be solid yellow. And I'm not too worried about the items in the background. I'll take care of that in a minute. So now, if I click the middle button, it'll give us a preview of the key we've got. So that it shows us the color that we've keyed out. And the top one here shows us our final product. And we haven't made any adjustments yet, so it's going to look normal. So we have our mat, we have our colors we've keyed, and we have our full-blown image when it's done. So let's make our adjustments. We have our control set to the outside, so any con adjustment we make will be made to the outside. We have our key set, so let's pull our saturation out. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pull out my saturation. And bam! Look over here in the preview. As you can see, everything is black and white except the cab. So let me reset my saturation. It goes back to normal. Now let me set the control to inside. And when I pull the saturation out, as you can see, it just pulls it out of the cab, which I need to do a lot more fine adjustments. I just wanted to show you an example. So let me reset the saturation and set it back to outside. Pull, up, pull my saturation out to make everything go black and white. And that is how you pull the color out of a picture. Leave something color, the rest black and white. As I say in another tutorial, I'm going to go in and show you how to remove the color, other colors in the background. So it's just a cab. It's just as easy as using a vignette. I hope you guys have learned something. We'll see you next time.